my name is Madam Beatrice and today I'm taking you through grade 3 mathematics lesson. Today's topic we are learning about measurement and today we are measuring length. Length is measured in meters. Meters, the long form, the word is meters. And then the short form is M. So today we are going to add measurement. We are adding the meters. 537 plus 438. It's supposed to be 537 meters plus 438 meters. Now, you already know how to add. So here, what you are being tested is the unit and the unit is the meter. So if you add and you do not include these meters, that will just be a number and that won't be measurement and you'll be wrong. So the first thing you should write here is meters. Without these meters, you are wrong. So now you add 7 plus 8 equals, we always start adding from the right side, we add the ones column, then you add the tens column, and finally you add the hundreds columns. So 7 plus 8, the big number in your head, and the small numbers on your hands, and you count on addition by counting on 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, number 15 has two numbers. It has the 1 and 5. We cannot write it there. So you circle the 5, the number on the right side, and write it below the 1's column, down, a curve, and a cross. That's how you shape number 5. And the number that remained here, you carry it here and write it on the tens column. That's because number 15 consists of five ones and one tens. That's why we wrote five on the column of ones and one we carry it on the column of tens. Now, here you have three numbers, so you add one plus three plus four. So you add in bits, one plus three should give you four. You write your small number four there and you continue adding four plus three, the big number in your head, which is four, the small number on your hands, which is three. So four, five, six, seven. Since it's only one digit or one number, you write seven there. And the last column now to add is hundreds. And hundreds you have five plus four. Now you have the big number in your head, which is five. Four on your hands. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is addition by counting on. And here you write nine. And now your final answer here is 975 meters. Remember here, the most important thing is the unit, which is meters. Without this, you are wrong. Now, the next example, you can have 55 meters plus 32. 32 meters. Now we are adding measurements. We know very well that you can be able to add 55 plus 32 but the main thing here we need is the measurement which is meters. So if you write your answers without that meters you will be wrong. First you place it there. Now you add the one side you have. We always start adding from the right side and that is the column of ones. 
5 plus 2 will have the big number in your head 5 plus 2 5 you count on 6 7 here you write 7 then you go on to add the number on your left do not forget that is the tens column and you have 5 plus 3 and so the big number is 5 so in your head there is 5 on your hands you count on 3 5 6 7 8 and the answer is 8 the answer is 8 and your final answer there is 87 meters 87 meters okay our next example we are going to calculate the takeaway sums using the measurement so you have 981 take away 869 these are meters uh -huh. 981 meters take away 869 meters equals now you have to start calculating from the right side and from the right side you have one take away 9. And since 1 is smaller than 9, it's not possible to take away 9. So what we do is we borrow. We borrow 1 from the next number. And the next number in this case is 8. So we shall borrow 1 from 8 and write it here. Then we say this number is no longer 8, but we cancel it. We now say this number is no longer 8, but 8 take away 1 that gives us 7 because borrowing is taking away now we have now our number here is no longer 1 but 11 now we have 11 take away 9 and so you are, to take away is to count backwards as we learned on the other lessons that taking away is counting backwards so now you count from 11 backwards 9 times so 11 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the answer is 2, and the answer is 2, you write 2. Now you go to the next column, you have 7, take away 6. This number now is no longer 8, but 7, don't forget that. So now 7, take away 6, you'll have I said that to take away is to count backwards, so you count backwards from 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. When you say 1, you count 6, you write this one here. Now you are not yet, you've not yet finished, so you come now and do the last column, which is the hundreds columns. You have 9, take away 8 equals, so we said, to uh, take away is to count backwards, so we count backwards from 9, we count backwards 8 times from 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the answer is what you say when you count backwards 8 times 1, so our answer right now is 112, and this is not measurement, measurement has a unit, so if you leave it like this, you are wrong until the time you write here M to show meters. M is the short form of meters, like I earlier said. Now the next example, you can have 96 meters take away 62 meters equals so here you'll have six always remember we start taking away from the right side six take away two and i said we take away backwards so six five four and you count four what you say is the answer there and you write four there there you are not yet done you still have the uh, tens columns to take away so you still have your number nine take away six then we count back ones nine eight seven six five four three and three is the answer once you count six on 
your hands. So three, what you say is the answer. So our answer right now is that four. If you leave it like that, you'll be wrong. Because measurement has a unit, which is meters. So we, you must write meters for you to be correct. So our answer there is 34 meters. And that's the end of our lesson measurement using the unit meters length.